Hi everybody, hope you're having a good summer. As you know, I'm actually teaching this summer as part of the Fish Bowl. Um, I'm teaching the intermediate class at Woods. Yay, I really enjoy it. Um, and today I want to share with you a resource that I'm using in my lesson planning. Um, I'm using it in the intermediate class to try it out, but it would be more useful at the beginning level. And I'm sharing it because we would really like feedback from you about how useful it is. Um, so that we can know whether to continue to recommend it or to let it go. So um, it is the new online teacher's guide for the new edition of the Oxford Picture Dictionary. Um, you can access it with the link and the login information that is shared below this video in the newsletter. Um, and it corresponds with the new edition of the Oxford Picture Dictionary, which all of the library sites have class sets of. If you're not at a library site, you might have old versions of this. Um, the, so what I'll show you today can still be useful, but it won't correspond exactly with your version. So if you have this new version, uh, this is going to be most helpful for you. So when you first log into the OPD, you'll see this screen. And there are a variety of ways that you can explore these resources. Let's start with browsing by topic. My students at Woods chose to start with health. We can go to health here. And we jumped, because it's intermediate, we jumped right into symptoms and injuries. And so here's my page. Here's symptoms and injuries. All of these resources correspond exactly to this page. So lesson plans, audio, classroom activities, images, worksheets, etc. It's all right here, and it all corresponds to a page that you can use in class. So the lesson plans, you will likely want to edit the lesson plans to add to them, to change them. Um, you're not at all required to use them exactly as they come. You can also just cherry pick dialogues or ideas from them and integrate them into your own lesson plan. That's what I've been doing. Let's say though that you know exactly what resource you want. Back here at the main page, we can browse by resource. Here we see the lesson plans, the audio, the activities, the videos, articles, images, etc. I have found the images super helpful because you can download <clears throat> the images that come from the page you're using in the Oxford Picture Dictionary. So for example, for health, here's my symptoms and injuries. I click it, I can download the images, and then I printed full page, um, full page copies of each image, and I also made a worksheet. All I had to do was copy and paste the images into this, and then there's my handout. So I found that really helpful. Of course, if you are teaching really low beginners or students who are uh, who have emerging literacy, it is better to use realistic photos than these illustrations, but if you have a higher beginning or intermediate class, these illustrations can be quick and easy. Another great resource that I've used from here is the Newzella articles. Newzella is a great website. It's at uh, newzella.org. They take news articles from the New York Times, etc., and adapt the language so that they can be used for English language learners. So if I click here, I can find articles that are connected with the page that I'm studying from the OPD. So for example, here's my health article, Cancer Treatments for Dogs Might Help Humans, great. I click it and it downloads. And then here's this news article I can use with my class. I didn't have to go elsewhere and search, it's all right here. So this is another resource that might be helpful for high beginning and intermediate classes. I am having a total blast teaching the intermediate class at Woods. And as you know, you're all invited to come in and observe, and we're really having a great time. And I hope that you can come join us and um, observe the class. If you would prefer to see a beginning class, you can observe Maureen, um, who is teaching here at Literacy Connects. And more information about um, locations and times and RSVP uh, is available in the newsletter. Have a great month.